and then they'll okay. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. So does anyone know the Wi-Fi password? Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many slaters do you set up there? I know. I don't need to tell you. Hello. I'm always trying to see what I can do. In your own experience, right? Yeah. I'm wondering if that's something bigger. I'm going to move closer to you. The corner is easier. I'm here in the house. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Let's see. Is that better? Your crutches. You're giving away crutches. Well, I was thinking that if I were speaking, we could see that. But no, apparently not. Okay. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Hi, Mouse. Hi there. Disappeared. Wait, right. We know that Michelle can't make it. And, but otherwise, we're convened. So I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Hey, y'all. So um, uh, did I hear correctly that Michelle's not here? Yes. Okay. But everybody else is there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so um, just naming our for tonight, since it came out kind of late because I completely dropped all the balls today. Um, we're going to hear the director report. We're going to review our edits to the bylaws and approve them after tabling them in a previous meeting. We're going to um, look at the budget request for special town meeting where there's like a whole proposal ready for us, okay, and any unanticipated business. So does anyone have any unanticipated business that we could now anticipate? <laughs> no. Talk a little okay. louder. I'm having trouble hearing you. All right. I'm going to just yell. How's that? <laughs> That's great. Uh, Thank you. All right. Mary Ann, would you like to give us the director's report sure. to get us rolling with the good news? Good. All right. So I think since I've seen you last, I have completed and submitted the ARIS report, unless I reported that last time, the annual report information survey. So there are two state reports for those of you who are new. Um, and um, so there's one that's statistics. Um, so how many books we circulated and how many programs we had and um, and how many hours were open, how many hours, how many evenings after 5 p.m. that were open. A lot of different things like that. Most of it is based on federal, um, on information that the federal government wants us to collect. So we collect it, we give it to the state, the state then reports to the federal government. So I, and that is usually due in the middle of August. And I'm trying to get these things off my plate because I have a lot of things on my plate and, and they're big kind of cumbersome, unwieldy reports, but I've been doing them for so long that I have some systems in place that help me have all the information gathered, uh, which is good. Uh, there's always one thing that I have to scramble for, but you know, but only usually only one. So, um, so, so I've submitted the ARIS report and then the financial report is the other report and that one is due in early October and I've submitted that. And that is how much money did the town give us? How much money did different employees make? Again, it's all the statistics. Um, uh, how much money do we spend on new materials for the library? How much money do we spend on programming? And And so, and there are, state requirements on <clears throat> appropriations for libraries and and spending for libraries on materials, percentages on the new materials for libraries that we have to meet in order to be certified from the state to get state aid. And so that's what the financial report is about. It's proving that you are meeting those benchmarks for certification, which we are, um, because we advocate for that and our community supports that. So, so I've submitted both of those forms and those require a trustee chair signature. So I think Kate signed one of them and Michelle signed the other, so it was perfect. Um, and, and it's nice to have 
um, the financial one done and submitted so early. Um, and then, so those are sort of the big library things. Um, a big program that I have coming up that I'm kind of excited about is Good Neighbor Day. So Governor Healy declared Saturday, September 28th, Good Neighbor Day. It is an initiative to prevent loneliness by building commuting, community connections. And so all you had to say was build community connections. And I was like, I have to do something. Um, and they they suggested things. They suggested having volunteer service or having a block party. Well, we don't really have block parties in a shoot theory, but block parties are a lot of fun. So we're going to have a party at the athletic club. Um, so, and the fire department is coming and and then just some things that I already had planned, I sort of shuffled. So we've got a children's craft and a, a organization that um, cares for rescued reptiles is coming with a bunch of reptiles. And um, uh, and uh, we have some music and we're gonna have dessert. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, that's really good. So that's, and then there's a lot of programming um, happening and um, another one that I'm excited about is um, we've partnered with PBS to do a pilot program um, based on a children's show called Wombats Work It Out. And it is a, uh, so PBS children's programming is educational in nature. And this is about um, teaching kids problem solving skills. Um, and so, and they're doing a study where, so they have an app, they have a Wombat Work It Out app and there's a Wombat Work It Out show. And then they have this curriculum and they're doing a study to see if um, children have a better experience using the, the app in a library setting or in a, you know, a setting where there's an in-person component versus just doing the app at home with their parents. So families get a $250 stipend for participating, which I think is really cool. Um, and I'm partnering with the Pelham Library because we have to offer six in-person sessions and that felt like a lot, but each of us doing three feels manageable. Um, so, and we have nine, four and five-year-olds signed up um, and it's gonna be Sunday afternoons in October and November, and we could use a few more four and five-year-olds, if anybody knows any four <laughs> or five-year-olds, you know. We were not... already signed up in Wendell. We oh, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad you signed up in Wendell, good. Uh, we, have, we have enough to run the program already, but it would be good to have more. So, and and they, they were looking for rural communities specifically, and, we explained that we would have small cohorts. And so, and then what happens is you get people to sign up and then they randomly assign who is app only and who gets to come to the in-person. So are you doing the in-person? Yeah, I'm doing at home. App only, okay. So uh, yeah, so I, yes. Uh, yeah. So it's, um, and that's, that's kind of a hard thing because you have people sign up and then they might be told your app only, you know, and, but it'll be, you know, uh, so it'll be fun and they get, you know, and then those parents are going to get, you know, not an insignificant that's amount a, of money. That's a chunk. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that could pay an electric bill and buy a grocery, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, awesome. so that's good. Um, and then for the construction project, um, Let's see, we've broken ground. They they excavated the footings for the foundation. And um, so because it's a slab, there's like deeper holes around, you can explain the, the, the perimeter. And then um, and then the somehow, and then the slab, you know, somehow they build a base with you know, dirt and rocks and stuff and then put the slab on top of it. And then, so that is excavated. Um, and then there, somebody's going to come in and build forms with a bunch of metal bars that are there, and then they'll pour the concrete. So, you know, the concrete could be poured by the end of the month, um, which is really kind of exciting. Cool. 
they're working on getting temporary power to the trailers. Um, so they've they've put in a temporary pole. It's like it just looks like a piece of plywood. Um, and uh, and then they'll also have temporary internet to those two trailers. Um, and uh, and so far, you know, like there haven't been any surprises. You know, it's um, so far it's. It's sort of limping along, but it's limping along. Um, we have construction meetings every Monday. Um, every other week, they're either virtual or in person. So today was a virtual meeting. Um, and we just go through everything. The contractor seems reasonable and, uh, and kind of laid back. Um, and uh, so, you know, so we, we've started. Um, and they still think they'll be finished by the end of next July. That's the schedule. So, um, so that's what they think. That's what the yeah. schedule says. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. sooner than I expected. Yes. So it's there's a, it's supposed to be done in twelve months. That's what the contract yeah. is. Um, yeah, I thought it was two years. Yeah. No, it's supposed to be done in twelve months. So, um, you know, and then. So, okay, so the forms, so the, the, so there's the contractor and then everything is done by subcontractors. So the con subcontractor who's supposed to come in and build the forms, they're all sick. So, and, um, and, you know, and that is still part of our reality, right? But they think that they'll be, you know, well enough to send somebody here by the end of the week. So, they, you know, they're behind because they were all sick last week. So whatever job they were supposed to be doing last week didn't get done. So, so little things like that happens. Um, and then there are things um, that have to be ordered, like electrical parts and HVAC parts. And so those, the the subcontractor has to send sort of their list of things that they're going to buy and then the architect and the OPM have to, and the contractor have to review those and okay it. And so they're, they've already reviewed, um, let's see, have they, at least one of them has reviewed the electrical. So the electrical is kind of the thing that people get hung up on getting the switches and things that they need. So they're already working on that kind of stuff to get out of out ahead of it, which I think is great because they know about the supply chain issues. So, uh, so they're getting ready for things to be ordered. So that's good. Um, so that's that's the construction. That's really all that's happened so far. No, and, I mean, site work takes so much time. I think yes. that big take of time to yes. do that. And yeah, that's in such great shape. Yeah, thank you for that. Yes. Are any questions for Marianne before we? Move along in our agenda. Any questions? Hearing no questions. Um, um, therefore, we will go on to our next thing. Um, so, which is, I'm sorry, I'm just pulling up the email. Um, bylaws review and approval. And I know we all got these. Did everybody get them? But maybe you're going to share, you want me to share, share it? Share it. It's not okay. going to be efficient. Okay. Um, look, I'm even ready to share. I know. Yes. So, <laughs> okay. uh, so, so anyway, I so when you approve it, I'll take off the word draft. Um, and um, so. So you looked up the laws. I looked up the laws. Yeah, which was so easy when the website was working. Uh, you know, it, so I tried looking up the general laws just to review them. And their website was down. And of course, you spend, you think, oh, well, I'll try it this way. Oh, I'll try and get there this way. Oh, I'll try and get there this way. And then you've wasted your whole day trying to get to a website. And, and then I tried to look and see if it was down. You know, is it me or is it what's I couldn't find anything that confirmed that it was down. <laughs> but then when I tried to go to it last week, I had no trouble. So yeah. There you so, go. It's so easy. So yes. Yeah. So I looked up the laws. Uh, 
So, um, so I'll scroll slowly and people can say if I they see want. An extraneous capital in shall in sentence two of Article three, number one. Article three, number one. The board sentence. shall be responsible. That sentence. Uh, which you're, which you're sentence? on the fourth you're line. Here. Here. Same line. The oh, board yeah. shall. Okay. And I have a comment about the bylaws. I have a friend who's studying um, library science, and she had to do a project where she read all these library bylaws. And she said our bylaws are really lacking um, information on how we're elected. Most bylaws say that. I think I put it in there. Yeah, we discussed that, yeah. didn't we? I think I added it. Did I yeah, add it? I did, you did, because I yeah. thought I was reading through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that person also told me. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I have the same friend. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I added it, so we can when we get there. Uh, but here, let me just look. So she, yeah, she said we should have the term limit and the right. Okay. I am um, on Article Four. I corrected it on mine, but I guess okay. it doesn't come through. Right. The font is different. I mean, it's a silly thing, but. The font is different. Like you see where it says membership and if you look up at the other one. Oh yes. It's different. Uh, this yeah. is what I added. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is so what I added. So I this went out is to check that one. It's virgins or something like that. And okay. Like, so I changed right. the other one to that in bold. As okay. Well. So, so I'll do that when I'm not in the meeting yeah. because it'll yeah. be easier. Okay. Because I can't see the font up there. Oh, but maybe I can see it this you way. You can change yeah. it probably. Yeah. Um to homo. Okay. Yeah. So you want to do the article two? Yeah. This two? The yeah. whole thing. Yeah, just right. I just highlighted the whole thing just changed the the home. Okay. There. And what did it say? It said membership. Yeah. yeah. It's going to do the same thing unless you go back to that period and start from there. All right. Like delete the period and then put it in again. See if that helps. No. No. All right. Well, that's all right. I'll just type it and then change it. And then are those? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Good, yeah. All right. All right. Um. So, so this is, yeah. This because you know, and then I thought, okay, we could put like, what if one person leaves early? But I think you know, which is because you were you replaced somebody who didn't couldn't. But that's that's too much information, I think. Um, and we. Talk about some of it. Well, this is big memory, but some of it's dependent on the town. Right. right. Our decision. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, this this is actually a state before. law that's yeah. in here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and this is how the, the state law works it. Uh, so, so, like when a board is first appointed, they have to be three, six, or nine members. Yeah. And then, and so a town has to choose. And yeah. so at some point in time, she's very chose six members. And then, so then, the, so then the first year, I think, you know, they do it. There's this whole formula for getting everybody up to that thing where every year a third of the membership is reelected. Uh, but we're not starting there. So we can just, you know, from here, this existing board, it's six elected members and a third of the membership is re-elected annually, which is, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think um, for two qualms, we're gonna, gonna say the number of people and she was like, it should say they're elected at town meeting, but I think if you say re-elected annually, that yeah. right. it's the same. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's actually in the town election, which just happens to coincide with town meeting. Yeah. But yes. Just, yeah. So, no, so, no. Practice. Right. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> created a monster. 
So can you convincing that person to go to library school? <laughs> yeah, you certainly did. She can be our fault finder, which would be that's <laughs> actually a great role it, to have. It is a great role to it's actually very helpful most of the time. So so article is capitalized elsewhere. Oh right. right. Article five. Let's see. Oh okay. no, that it's the other way around. Okay. okay. All righty. So I know how to fix that. Okay, and then this and then oh it's up there i like the ones up above better but it, you can do it down here too no i think you just have to write the rcicle again yes i wouldn't have to but it's so we are driven it's because of that up there in my way okay yeah all right okay and for the next one, Article 5, a line space after offices. Where? Yeah. Right at the top, the oh. title. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So now you when you go up a little bit, there you're referring to town meeting elections. I think you should maybe make it conform with annual elections since that's what you said. Right. Earlier. Right. Right. Annual elections. Annual you just take elections. out. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. Maximum mm -hmm. picking of minutes. Okay. There's no capital for annual above. So okay. that is your thing. Right. And that's just a thing where the elections happen, you know, consecutively with town meeting usually. And so everybody just thinks it's all yeah. the thing, but it is actually two separate things happening. We're using chairperson above, so maybe we should use co-chairperson below. Sure. Is it all one word? Yeah. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Okay. And Pam, are you Pamela? No. No. Okay. Really? You're just Pam? You my official name. Okay. But I'm you're okay. Sure. All right. Okay. Because, like, you're Bradley in here. Am I? Yeah. Pamela. Is that fine? It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Some Brads aren't even Bradley. No. You know, they're Bradford. Or, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm Catherine, but I've never used to. That's right. Yes. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's um, up with you? What's up with Mel? Right. <laughs> oh, and then Mel, did I, is Mel, do you want to be Melanie or Mel in here? It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I mean, my legal you know, name is Melanie, so maybe it makes sense to put Melanie. Okay. It, it's on there now. It's Melanie that's on here. So we'll that's, leave it. Sure. Okay. Is that what you said? Okay. Yeah. Bradley Foster is an eye doctor in Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So is this good? Mm -hmm. Looking expectantly at the group. I uh, move that we um, approve the bylaws as amended. I second that. Okay, we're going to do a roll call vote. Brad. Yes, I. And Elizabeth. I. And Pam. I. And Kate. I. And Mel. I. All right, unanimously approved. Thank you all. Thank you. So I and, will get posted on the on the trustee page of the town website. Awesome. And Marion, could you send me the copy when it's complete? Because I'll have to submit it with the minutes. Yes, I will do okay. that too. Okay. Okay. Because now you know there are people looking. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> It's cool. oversight of town government is good. It is. No, it's actually, it's very helpful. So, um, okay. Um, moving on to budget requests for special town meeting. We have a screen share again for those of you that get there by our oh, treasurer. Can you wait? I don't think um, Mel can see that. Yeah. And then this one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, is that visible to you? Yes. Okay. Can we fix select board? Is it two word? Select board is one word. Can do? Uh huh. I looked yeah. on the town website, and it's two words. Is it? Two words with a capital D. Yes. Okay. Because I was like, huh, is it one word or is it two? And they okay. had it. All right. Two. That's good. All right. And then I asked the select board member if we should send it to both the select board and the finance committee. And they said, send it to just the select board and they'll send it to the finance committee. Okay. 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 So, so um, would it, we had an explanation for this just for remembering in context, we had an explanation of why we needed to do this last time and a walkthrough of the math. Um, and then we asked Brad and Marianne to go make it work on paper. <laughs> and that's what you've done. Um, does anyone, so is there, uh, are there any changes from what we reviewed previously? Or is this just- What was sent out? No. Um, no, the number is the same, the and the it just the format. Is... Oh, you mean um, what we looked at earlier? Yeah. The, the all the concepts are the same. I think we found a couple of really minor math errors, which were fixed. Um, okay. But there's no major change in there. We just re. We we had things. different strategies when you round up, and then we went with his. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, it's very clear now. Uh -huh. And the explanation is good. I read through and I was like, okay, that makes sense to me anyway. Okay. It. Yes. It, I don't want to like cut short anyone's opportunity for discussion or review or questions or anything, but I just found this admirably clear and a really great way of, you know, explaining what we need. Just yeah. like you said, I agree. Does anyone have questions? They are encouraged. Any concerns, any issues? I am not hearing any. Mm -hmm. um, and this is not entirely surprising to me. It's <laughs> really good work. So may I ask for a motion? Not from you because it is a problem. I will motion that we accept the explanation of the request for the amended budget lines uh, as it is, as it has been <laughs> there with the words presented. Uh, presented. Mal, do you have a motion? Um, I had a little bit of trouble hearing, but what I have is motion to accept the explanation of the request for additional funds as presented. Is that right? She worded it so well. The only suggestion I would have is pick up explanation because this is just 
to me, it's really just what was that? For additional. So uh, motion to accept the good. request for additional funds as presented. Very good. I'll second it. Fabulous. All right, this time we're going to go the other way around. Mel first. Yes. Aye. And Brad? Yes. Presumably. And Elizabeth? Yes. And Pam? Yes. And Kate? Yes. All right. All right, so I'll send this to the select board. Yeah, do you and need any signature from chair, anything? Um, I don't think so. I think that, you know, I can just say, I mean, it. your names are typed in there. I think that's good enough in the yeah. digital world. And I can yeah. just say, submitted this on behalf of the trustees, you both did tonight, so that's fine. Great. Okay. We didn't make any changes to this document tonight, so Mel, do you have this already? So you don't need it sent again for when you submit minutes, correct? Yep, I have it. We just changed something at the top, the first one. No, you know? we took off finance. We took it out, I'll, I'll we changed select board and yeah, we took off finance committee. So I'll send it to you again. We made okay. the subs. Thank you. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. All right. There. Well, thank you. That was easy. Yeah, I appreciate it. And so, we go to the meeting where they discuss it. Like, yeah, we need our support there. I'll let you know when it's going to be. Okay. Yeah, I'll let everybody know. I mean, if they let me know, um, and <laughs> and uh, and then uh, you know, so like when the select board discusses it, and then when the finance committee discusses it, and then um, and then you know, so okay, okay. great. Did any unanticipated business suddenly appear as we deliberated this evening? Last call. Hearing none, we are adjourned in one of the most efficient meetings mm -hmm. on record. Do we need to set another? Yes, meeting? sorry. You mm -hmm. always have to remind me about that. All my meetings are like standing meetings. I never have to worry about it. Uh, let's see. When would we be? Would it be the 21st of October? That would yes. be the third Monday. Yeah. Oh, no. I will be out of town. But if someone else wants to take minutes, then. Well, is it is usually the third Monday, isn't it? It is. That's often, unless the third Monday is a holiday. The second Monday is a holiday. It's a holiday. Do is there anything that we lose by moving it to the twenty eighth? Oops, that's fine with me. Okay, does the twenty eighth work for you, Mel? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna um confirm with Michelle <clears throat> that that date works for her. Do we have any known agenda items for that meeting that aren't the usual? Look at the director's report, the building report. The, are there any prep we need to do for capital planning? Oh, you know what? Um, an action plan. So, so we have to submit an action plan by December first. So, so I'll maybe I'll have it. Uh, draft for the October 28th meeting. Um, and if not, you'll all remind me to have a draft for whenever the November meeting. Okay, so when yeah. we're po okay. posting, you can put that on there. Yes, that might help yes. Us with you. okay. I'm away a week. Oh, the no. October week? Okay. No. Oh, I'm sorry, I hadn't realized. That's okay. I just, I put it in there and then I looked and I was like, oh, I'm the MLA. Okay. Um, well, we, we are just not going to be able to have, so why don't, why don't we do this before we post? Why don't I do a forum call for those two dates and see which one wins? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, I can do the 21st. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Trying again. We are adjourned. <laughs> thank right. you so much. All right. Thank you. you. Okay. So are you?